COVID-19 has been with us for almost an entire year and has drastically changed many of our lives. However, although the virus continues to spread, the development of treatment and a vaccine is progressing. The University of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which is currently undergoing trials, is now being said to produce an immune response in not only young adults, but also the elderly. This, of course, is encouraging, seeing as older people whose immune systems are weaker are typically hit harder by the symptoms of COVID-19. The vaccine is anticipated to be one of the first to be distributed. It's currently undergoing phase 3 trials, which is the last stage a treatment goes through before it's declared safe. The UK has also signed a deal for 100 million doses, with The Sun reporting that London health chiefs are preparing to receive deliveries of the vaccine from next Monday. However, the health secretary Matt Hancock explained that he did not expect to see a rollout until the first half of 2021 with the bulk of it expected before next summer. Nonetheless, he did not rule out some coronavirus jabs taking place this year. Aspirin may be able to prevent people falling seriously ill or even dying from COVID-19. A daily low-dose pill could lower the chance of a patient being sent to the intensive care unit by as much as 40%, and could decrease the possibility of death by almost half, according to a new study. The debate over whether inflammatory drugs such as aspirin but also ibuprofen being able to treat coronavirus is nothing new. However, studies have shown in the past that the drugs can make symptoms both better and worse. South Korean researchers concluded that other inflammatory drugs aside from aspirin increase the risk of death by 65%, while also skyrocketing the risk of serious heart or kidney problems.